1 a.m., the sound of helicopter rotors interrupts the night in a wealthy enclave of Abbottabad, Pakistan. The mission to take out Osama bin Laden has reached its destination. Here is what the U.S. government says happened that night. A pair of helicopters carrying about 24 Navy SEALs swoops in on the compound. One chopper full fast ropes in, while the other lands to disgorge its SEALs. It's a hard landing. The helicopter loses lift because of the compound's high walls. No one is hurt. For most of the SEALs' 40 minutes on the ground, the team engages in a firefight. The SEALs clear the small building first, then reach Bin Laden and his family on the second and third floors of the main building. The mission was quite complicated. I mean, not only did you have the helicopters bringing in the SEALs, you had overflights by AC-130s or other type of fixed-wing aircraft. Once they got into the compound, you've got all sorts of concerns, everything from friendly fire to getting whatever intelligence was there. So they had a long laundry list of things to do in a certain order to minimize civilian casualties, be sure they got their target, and they didn't end up killing one another. In the final showdown, bin Laden's group resists, though it's unclear if bin Laden himself puts up a fight. Bin Laden and a woman rush a seal when he enters the room they're in. The woman is shot in the leg but not killed. Bin Laden is killed by a shot over the left eye. Plainly, the U.S. government was very happy that they didn't get him alive. I mean, U.S. military rules and regulations don't allow you to shoot someone who is surrendering. So they would have taken him that way, but Osama bin Laden had made it clear for years that he would not be taken alive. And I think they went in knowing he'd be coming out deceased. U.S. personnel sweep through the compound, collecting computers and hard drives for later use by intelligence teams seeking clues about Al-Qaeda. The SEALs elect to destroy the damaged helicopter instead of trying to recover it. The SEALs team departs in the functioning chopper and a backup along with bin Laden's body. When they were leaving the compound, they had pictures that they were comparing to pictures of a live Osama bin Laden, and they felt to a 95-degree level of certainty that, hey, it's the same guy. In the same way, they had samples of DNA from some of bin Laden's relatives. That rose their level of certainty to virtually 100 percent. And the coup de grace, the final thing was, as the SEALs were drawing in close to Osama bin Laden, his wife called out his name. A coded message is sent to Washington, Geronimo E.K.I.A., indicating that bin Laden is dead.